I was born in a Muslim family. When I was a little girl, I always asked myself, what am I doing in this world? Because I just saw a cruel world and I didn't want it to be a part of it. When I grew up, I started to be really bad. I was hurting a lot and I hurt people because of it. I tried to kill myself three times. I was doing drugs. I was smoking. I was smoking anything. I just wanted to destroy myself. It arrives a time where I wanted to go to Syria because I hated people who weren't Muslim. Um, I wanted to kill them. I was uh, bound to to dangerous thing. I uh, loved to see people dying. I loved to see them bleeding. I was seeing videos of decapitation and loved it. And yeah, it was my life. So I started to read the Bible to prove to Christians that they were wrong. But I was wrong. <laughs> and the grace of Jesus Christ started to touch me. I was reading things like pray for your enemies, like, uh, love them. And I was someone who wanted to kill them. I hated them. Intellectually, I didn't want it to, to accept Jesus, but my heart, Jesus, uh, Jesus started to do a work in my heart. And it arrived um, a time where I had to explain to my family that I became a Christian. And this is where persecution started. They, uh, they didn't talk to me, they stopped talking to me. During months, I was alone in my my uh, room. It was like a prison, so I started to read the Bible a lot uh, of reading. And Jesus was there with me. He was encouraging me. The Holy Spirit was really there. I feel, I felt it. I knew it. Today, my family abandoned me. I am alone. I have no home. My family abandoned me, but I have a new family, and this family is all around the world, and it's my family in Christ, and this is the best gift God gave me. I just want to encourage you people, Muslims or not, to seek God with all your heart, because God knows where you are. He knows your struggle. Even if you hate, you hate Him, He loves you, and He understands you. Today, I, I can't imagine like how I could do this and um, I can see the grace of Jesus Christ all along like he saved he saved me from suicide from depression from all of it all of this she came from a Muslim background she saying she wanted to go with ISIS before God started to change her life yeah. 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 she has not received the Holy Spirit those who speak in tongues and when they hands some people they will receive the Holy Spirit I was baptized uh, in a kickstart and um, I was really scared at first and also excited when I got baptized in water a demon manifested and um, it wasn't me at all I don't even remember what I did I had to see uh, in uh, the video of my baptism and I, I was completely crazy the demon was was crazy <laughs> it wasn't me I hit Yon, he, he baptized me, I hit him, and I said sorry. <laughs> You repent, you get baptized for the washing ration and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And she experienced the freedom and for the first time she starts speaking in tongues. She's a daughter of God. After the baptism, I felt like a, a heavy weight completely disappeared and uh, I was so excited to go and make disciples all my convictions in Christ they started to to be alive in me I started to want to talk about Jesus to everyone uh, even to the people who led me um, to terrorism I wanted to go and see them and and tell them that 
they are wrong and that love is waiting for them and uh, I was full of love. We are created in the image of God and uh, I really want Muslims to come to the truth and really know Jesus because he loved them no matter what they did, no matter what they say, he loved them and uh, Muslims need Jesus. I know that may seem crazy what I am saying, but I've been what you I've been where you are and I assure you this isn't the truth. Islam is not the truth. I assure you please uh, look for God with all your heart and you will find him because I'm sure you don't have a, a personal relationship with God because maybe you are following rules but with God it's an adventure it's something really unique and that's why I'm experiencing tomorrow I don't know where I am going to sleep but I know I Jesus will take care of me and all of this is encouraging sometimes I think about my family of course it's it's hard of course it hurts uh, because I was so used to be with them but I am not an orphan because my family in Christ adopted me and they are my new family. Now we are going to Brazil to preach about Jesus, pray for sick people, cast out demons. I want to write the whole